In 1955, a resilient little Northern Irish woman born in Belfast by the name of Bridget Foody boarded a whiskey freighter to start a new life in the United States. Over the decades, she became a nurse, a midwife, wife of David Albright for 50 years, mother and grandmother to her son Patrick and his three girls, and her daughter, Anne Marie, and her three boys. One of those three boys, the middle child, was in Boston the day she died, on March 4th, 2016, two weeks before St. Patrick's Day. She lived a full life, regularly praying the rosary, boiling potatoes, and celebrating her favorite son and grandson. One of those three young boys, the middle child, was in Boston the day she died. That middle child was me. March 4th, I woke up to that unforgettable call. Me, a musician, was performing and producing one of the most crucial concerts of my life that week. And cornered, I stayed in Boston, missing the funeral. Left with only the winter holiday memories. Left knowing she would have wanted me to stay because I was to become famous, as she said. Even write her a symphony someday, as she frequently reminded me. My tears hit the pavement as I walked to school. I ended up dedicating the day to learning an Irish funeral ballad that I had always wanted to perform. Only after she left, when it was too late, did I honor my elder. In Ireland, funerals are celebrations of life, as heard in this major key, soaring with childish wonder while in the end falling to its final descent. Like a casket lowered beneath the surface, with a petal lifting like the last clump of dirt covering our buried loved ones. I wish you could have seen what I've done. I followed my dreams, starting Irish bands, working on the biggest Irish productions and festivals in Boston. I wish I could show you how proud I am of you how proud I am to be of Irish descent. And even though I wasn't able to be there when you were laid to rest, I'll spend the rest of my life remembering you. Thank you.